Hey guys, we've got tips, giving tips for free today, and I just got the first thing, the first thing I need to say is that it's not about the skill of a gamer, it's about the heart, and within the heart is where you find the skill, and with this philosophy, you will understand the most in-depth level of gaming possible. Today, I've got something very interesting for you that you'll be able to pick up from. It's just the raw ability of my own talents in game. You're gonna notice that I have this skill, and it's not even that you know I shoot out of a window and I and I quick check my blind spots because I know that that's my weak points. Big flash red thing on the radar. Anyone within that area is like it's like bird seed and they're like mindless little birds. The people in my my danger zone will be alerted and rush towards me. One thing to remember about taking spots over areas that have tactical advantage is that there are probably already one or two people in there and once you know that these areas are the best for TA they're gonna they're gonna go there as much as they can. I've got the AC-130 outside someone Locked it in a care package. Good job. I can assume that they've got a good portion of the level on lock. What this is going to do for me is I have tactical advantage over everything that comes inside from outside. So this bitch is raining fire on all the outside people. They've got a rush to the inside. I understand that. That's what I do too. It's it's very unfortunate. I would feel bad if I was in their position, honestly. It's not even that they're escaping death. It's that they're escaping death and then receiving death. It's gotta just be so frustrating. Now, another thing I notice that gamers do all the time is that they stare out of windows. They get there, they're staring out the window and they're all like, well, now that I'm looking out the window, I'm gonna be able to shoot anyone who comes along. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. What I do is I peer back from the window and I go, Whoop. no one's there. If no one's there at that second, I am not interested in looking out the window anymore. What, so someone can come along and shoot me? No, I'm gonna wait and every 10 to 20 seconds, I'm gonna peer out that window. And when I do, if someone's t making their 10 second jog from the back to the front, when they're making their jogs is when I take advantage of them. It's like a girl at a party. You, you don't just stare at her because she's gonna get freaked out. What you do is you wait until she's not expecting it and she's got her back turned and then you walk up and you go, pow, baby. What's up? I've got, I've got skill in game, what do you got? Tips for free, it makes sense to me. It's not even a matter of me telling you this is my best game. This is just me showing you consistency. I'm not even showing you like these kills aren't the best. They're just they're just kills that I get. But it doesn't have to be the best. A kill's a kill. You, if you get a kill, you get the kill. I mean, the other person's dead and they can bitch all they want. They're not coming back until four seconds later. Another thing I'd like to kind of just touch on this episode is tactics versus strategy. It's something that a lot of people just assume mean the same thing. Strategy is my whole play style. Tactics is taking advantage of players based on their position. Strategy is using tactical advantage. You can be the most tactical player in the world, but if you don't have good strategy, you're not going to you're not even going to compare. It's going to you're going to run around and you're going to go 30 and 15. And yeah, you'll go positive 15 and I'm gonna go positive 25. Even with bad tactics, the worst tactics, if you have no tactics, you can still have amazing strategy and you will never die with perfect strategy. Strategy versus tactics. And if you notice, I'm usually always on the move. Being on the move is very important in nesting. It makes, it makes the people that you kill, they look at it and they're like, well, he just walked into that room, walked up some stairs and shot me, that's not even fair. But they don't know, so next time they're like, well, I just spawned, I could probably go take him out now since he's running around in that room. No, 
you're not gonna take me out. I think that's one big advantage of nesting is that you don't tell everyone you kill what you're doing. I guess that's just all I've got for you today. Just keep in mind a few things. TA, strategy, and skill. Keep it real guys, keep gaming. Thank you.